Alright, this is going to be a tutorial on how to build a custom camera rig in Dreams for PS4. Here we go. Alright, I'm going to grab a, a cube. I'll call these logic cubes. First, completely de-physicalize it. Remove all physics properties. And attach a microchip to it real quick. Actually, no. Don't do that yet. Copy it and dupe it once by pressing left on the D-pad while holding the copy to get three copies. Now that you've done that, begin bolting them together like so. Turn on x-ray to get a better view of the bolt. I'm going to move this here and this here. Move that there. Just like that. And now I'm going to start grouping them together in this order. Boom. Grouping them like that makes them more stable. Now I'm going to pull out a microchip and attach it here, name that main. I'm going to open it up, put it right here, and then save its location for organization purposes. Now I'm going to hold L1 while grabbing this and then press X to group it in with the rest of the rig like that and then attach it name that yaw which is horizontal rotation now I'm going to do that sec that other step again by duping this holding L1 and pressing X and then letting go name this one pitch for up and down rotation Now I'm going to start lowering these to their appropriate positions. Right after organizing of course. Alright I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. So I press triangle over this block, pull it down, press triangle over this block, pull it down, and now they're in their appropriate positions. Now I'm going to pull out the controller sensor, Just delete all of these wires, now I'm going to come over here set this to remote controllable and that's all I need from there I'll leave that there for now I'm gonna pull out a teleporter I'm gonna have imagine using teleporters I'm gonna have this teleport to the character just name it give it the name of the tag you want to give it to the character or the tag you want to give to the name of the character. Use a gyroscope to keep it upright. And that should be about that for having it follow the player. I'm going to place down a couple of nodes. Purely for organization purposes. Name that one. Yaw String. Yeah. Pitch string. Now I'm going to pull out the splitter. I'm going to go over to not normal left stick or right stick, but right stick local 
this ignores the direction of the camera and boom now I'm going to attach two signal manipulators to this microchip set them both to 0 0.3 just moving out the acceleration of the camera speed and I'm attach this to yaw speed and this to pitch speed now I'm gonna pull out two rotators just normal rotators this one is for yaw and this one is for pitch yaw will be rotated like that and pitch will be rotated like this actually no I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be reversed so keep it the way it was now this on the other hand this needs to be flipped upside down there we go now it's rotating in the proper direction now max both of these out and turn on local space just put it back to where it was give it the speed you want it to have I chose 600 turn this mess off you don't want it dampening anywhere but where it's rotating do the same for pitch but make it half the speed of yaw okay player isn't going to be looking down or up and down as much as they look left and right so it'd be better to lower the speed of up and down just gonna attach this here now, this is very important when developing anything uh, test it alright so we know the rotators are working now I'm gonna go over to the pitch microchip and I'm gonna pull out a camera and just attach it now I'm going to come over here, click that. Now I'm going to carefully pull the camera back. And then, boom, there we go. There's the camera. And now it's attached to the rig. Up and down seems to be reversed. So I'm going to come over here and then flip that upside down now it's normal rotation you and Zed sound like teachers are y'all going to be teachers now I need to look Now I need to turn all of that invisible like that. Alright. Final step. Pull out a keyframe. And open up the camera microchip so that you can grab this part of the camera. Now grab this ball in the back of the camera and then pull it towards the box like right around here and then click that button over there to end the graphic and then press the left analog stick to reset the scene now you're about to see what this does I'm going to pull out a laser scope and then attach it to the keyframe now I'm going to set up this laser scope that so that it points directly at the camera. Now I'm going to extend it until it's just past the camera. 
which is 3.2 meters in my case and have it respond to whatever the label for the ground is I prefer scenery this makes it so that the camera pulls towards the rig whenever it's about well it pulls towards the player whenever it's a whenever it hits a surface I'm just gonna make a video for the rig Big old ground. We, we, we should, we should talk about now. Yeah, the camera is. <gasps> oh, I should shut up? Yeah. Whoops, forgot the label. I'm gonna throw that in there. And boom. Look, it pulls it closer to the, cam the camera rig when it collides with the ground. And for reference, I'm going to make a cone that you can see. This right where the camera rig is. Let that little cone be the player for reference. That should be it for the camera rig.